Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new video for you and in this video you'll see how I do my makeup so that I can look bomb and very beautiful on my new driver's license pictures. I currently have braids in, you probably saw that in my previous video. My driver's license expired at the beginning of March and I need to get a new one. I don't have a car here in Holland and I don't drive here and that is because honestly i am a little bit afraid of driving here and i have this thing that i really just want to drive a standard car and not an automatic car that's kind of the reasons why i don't drive or have a car at the moment and also the main reason as why i don't have a car as yet is because i live like literally 10 steps away from the city so everything that i need is very close by the supermarket is like just five steps away yeah i have everything i need in this area that i live at however i did promise myself that if i when i move or when i get like a job maybe that i need to like travel to that's quite nearby and would allow me to park there i would then think about getting a car but for the moment i don't need a car however I do need to have a driver's license for in case I go on vacations anywhere or there is kind of like a time when I need to have the driver's license, you know? So that's why we need to get the pictures done so we can get it renewed and then we don't have to actually do any exams again because I think if it expires and it goes over a certain amount of months, then you actually have to do the test and everything over again and we want to avoid that so i'm just showing you how i'm going to do my makeup for the driver's license pictures but you can also of course use this as well as an everyday simple makeup look this is kind of like my new routine again it's an updated product i've been using so i'm just drawing my eyebrows in by making them a bit more dark and then i really brush it so i can get the hair to look quite natural and just so it looks filled and not and if you would like to see all the products that I use, just check in the description box down below. I'll leave a list of them so you can, of course, check them out. And then the concealer that I put on the bottom of my eyebrows, right down, and I like to make sure that it's just looking very, very defined because I did get my eyebrows threaded. So whenever I get them threaded, they always look really nice and clean and like, I like that finished look that you don't see all those little hairs will look because my hair is so fine. I probably could do it my own, but I really do like to go and get them threaded because they just get all the little bit of hairs that I can't get. I don't think we're going to put on eyeshadow. I don't feel like that's something I want to have in my driver's license for the next 10 years. And what I did as well as on the top is that I just concealed my eyebrows on top using uh, a concealer that's very close to my skin color and below I used one that's quite bright so that kind of like brightens under my eye and I think that's enough for today since we're just going to be taking driver's license pictures and oh, I didn't do that I'm going to prime my skin I'm going to put on foundation I'm using my Fenty but again all products will be listed down below down below in the description box and I usually like to just leave the foundation dripping on my face a bit so it can warm up with my skin temperature I'm now going to be using my new favorite concealer. If you haven't checked out that previous video I made on this concealer, check it out. I will leave a little pop-up here so you can go. I have been absolutely loving this. It is amazing. Mm, these are all just the spots that I like to conceal and highlight. I shouldn't say it's really concealer. Or it is concealer. It's concealing and highlighting that I do. I don't just conceal. And again, with this concealer, I like to just leave it on for a bit so it can make sure and just go into my skin, warm up and be a bit more movable, but if not as movable. It kind of gets a different temperature. And lately I have been really loving putting and blending in my concealer using this kind of brush. So a brush that is quite movable. What is this brush actually called? It's called a face shape brush that I have from Zueva. I have this really long, like when I first started doing makeup. 
but it's such a good brush to use to blend in your concealer especially the under eye and then after i do the under eye and it's all blended in as i like it to be i then go in with some translucent setting powder and just tap that in I really hope these pictures turn out really nice. And I'm just going to leave that like set and sit. And next I'm using just a concealer that I got. That was also from the concealer that I'm using when I got the testers from them. I like this concealer because it's quite dark. And then I just like to use a clean brush. But I just blend everything back in again, just to make it go into my skin. Yeah. Next, I'm going to go in with my blush and use this to go on top of my contour. Take it a bit higher. I'm going to now go in with some highlighter. A bit of a peachy gold highlight and i always say like your eyebrows are sisters from different fathers so they don't always look exactly the same but you know and then just blush blush just brush that highlight in to the high into the blush and into the parts where i've added it Ooh. ah sneezing season again oh yeah now we're going to do lashes. So this is me without lashes, and then this will be me with lashes. With lashes, yay! I love lashes, like a girl's best friend. This looks quite about right. And finally, one of my favorite parts as well is to put on lipstick, and I've been loving this combination. If you want to see what it is, again, look into the description box down below. I will put the name of the two products I'm using. Yeah, I think matte lips are what I need to have on for my picture. Yeah, well, liking everything, so I'm just going to set up my Mar Badescu facial spray in aloe, herbs, and rose water. And I'm going to put on some studs and do my hair. I don't know how I want to do my hair actually. Let's see now. I want to hit the hair. I feel like on one side I kind of want it to be down and on the other side I also want to be up okay let me fix my edges first okay I got some earrings some cute little studs and I think I'm just going to spray the rose water also on my edges because my edges come out quite fast and they've just been doing their own thing I haven't done them lately Maybe like this? <laughs> or is that too much? And let me put this back. I'm so indecisive, I don't know what looks good or what kind of look I want to go for. Especially with having braids. I've never had braids in for like a passport picture or a driver's license. So this is all new to me. I think this is what we're going for. Hair like this, no curls and stuff in front just to be a bit distracting. This looks quite nice and neat. Yeah, let's spray it one final time for good luck. This is the final look that I'm going to go for doing my new driver's license. I'm going to take you with me somehow to see how the makeup looks outside because the sun is shining now outside. So you can also have a look to see how it looks like in natural lighting. I always forget to do this to like clean my nose piercing. But yeah, we're going to go outside. I'm going to show you how I look in natural lighting and then go ahead and take the pictures. So let's go. This is what my makeup looks like in natural lighting.
I just took the pictures and within less than three minutes I had the pictures and don't forget to go ahead subscribe to my youtube channel so you can see plenty more videos like this one and several others and yeah just stay connected I'll see you in my next video bye